Hi, this is Taj from the Watson Developer Experience Team. In this video, we're going to show you how to create instances of Watson services using IBM Cloud. The first thing you have to do to use the Watson Unity SDK is to sign up for IBM Cloud. This is where you create instances of Watson services like speech to text, visual recognition, and conversation. Just go to bluemix.net and click the Create a Free Account button to sign up. I already have an account, so I'm just going to log in and I'm going to end up in the IBM Cloud dashboard. I can get into the Watson dashboard by opening the menu in the top left corner and clicking Watson. Here we have access to application starter kits and developer resources. But what I'm really interested in is Watson services. For now, let's click Browse Services and see what available Watson services we can create instances of. For each tile, we have a service name, details, pricing, a link to a demo, and a short description of the service. Let's click Speech to Text and Language Translator to choose those two services and click the Add Services button. This brings us to the Create Project page where we have access to the service region, your organization, space and pricing plans for each of the services. For now, let's leave the pricing to light and add a project name and click Create Project. Now we see our project with our newly created service instances of speech to text and language translator. You can see in each service, you have links to documentation and API reference. More importantly, this is where we get our service credentials. You're going to want to copy these for use in the Watson Unity SDK. Click the copy icon and paste the credentials in your favorite text editor for later use. That's about it for this section. We've created a project in Bluemix. We created instances of speech to text and language translator. And we've saved the credentials of the newly created services into a text editor for future use. In the next video, I'll show you how to use speech to text in Unity using the Watson Unity SDK.